Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and this is all about simplifying rational algebraic expressions part 2. So the first part of simplifying RAE is all about those RAEs with monomial numerators and monomial denominators. So what if we have binomials, trinomials and other polynomial so the factoring techniques can be used to factor the numerator and or the denominator of an algebraic expression so punta tayo or babalik tayo at gagamitin natin ang factoring techniques para po masagutan ang ating or para po maisimplify ang ating rational algebraic expression so to simplify RAE with factoring techniques involved. So, here are the steps to follow. Step 1, look for the polynomial either on the numerator or denominator that are factorable. Factor it with the appropriate factoring technique. So, titingnan daw natin yung ating numerator at denominator kung alin yung factorable sa kanila. Then, step 2, divide out, cancel out common factor from the numerator and denominator. Write it in simplified form. So here we have example number 1. We have 3m plus 6 all over m plus 2. So as you can see, tingnan daw natin kung alin ang factorable, numerator ba or denominator or pareho. So 3m plus 6, meron ba tayong common factor sa 3m at 6? Kasi yun yung pinakaunang factoring technique na napag-aralan natin. Common factor or GCMF. May GCMF po ba tayo dyan sa ating unang numerator. We have 3m plus 6. So, this is factorable by GCMF. So, ano ang GCMF ni 3m at saka ni 6? We have 3. And then, factor out natin. 3m divided by 3, we have m. And then, positive 6 divided by positive 3, we have positive 2. And then, rewrite natin si denominator. Since, wala naman tayong factoring technique for this denominator. So, we have m plus 2. Now, step 2 is to divide out or cancel out common factor from the numerator and denominator. Alin ba ang common sa numerator and sa denominator? Again, we are going to cancel out factors. Common factor, not a term but a factor. So, we have here 3 at saka m plus 2. Dalawang factors natin. And then sa denominator, we have m plus 2 lamang. So, alin po yung pwede natin makancel na factors? So, we have m plus 2 and m plus 2. m plus 2 and m plus 2, pag na-cancel natin, automatically that will be 1. So, we can write na ang ating simplified form. 3 times 1, we have 3 all over 1 or simply 3. So, this will be our final answer for example number 1. So, ito palang 3m plus 6 over m plus 2 ay 3 ang kanyang simplified form. Again, there is a misconception po kasi when it comes to uh, simplifying RAE or sa pagka-cancel, hindi po tayo nagka-cancel ng term like this one. Halimbawa, 6 at saka 2, nakita natin may common factor sila. Hindi po ganun yon. Tandaan nyo, ang dinidivide out natin at kinakancel out natin ay factor common factor. Okay? Now, let's have example number 2. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x plus 1. So, tingnan natin ulit kung alin yung factorable. Uh, numerator lang ba? Denominator lang ba? Or pareho sila? So, in this case, yung atin munang numerator yung tingnan natin. x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, PST kaya siya? General trinomial A is equals to 1. Alin dun sa dalawa? So, try natin kung PST siya. We have a uh, x squared and 1. Anong square root ni x squared? We have x. Anong square root ni 1? We have 1. And then, para malaman kung PST siya, kunin natin yung product niyan. So, 1 times x is x. And then, kunin natin yung twice niya. So, we have 2x. And, kagaya siya ng middle term. So, ibig sabihin, this is an this is a PST. Okay? So, how are we going to factor uh Perfect square trinomials, again, we have square root of the first term, sine of the middle term, square root of the last term, and enclose it to the parentheses and then put the squared. Or, this means that we have x plus 1 times x plus 1. Meron tayo daw dalawang x plus 1. Now, yang ating x plus 1 na yan at x plus 1, i-divide natin yan sa ating denominator which is also x plus 1. And then, alin ngayon yung common factor, tandaan po, common factor yung ating kinakancel out or dinidivide out. 
we have x plus 1 and x plus 1. So, the final answer, so we have here 1. 1 times x plus 1 is x plus 1 all over 1 or simply x plus 1. So, this will be our final answer for our example number 2. For example number 3, we have 4x squared minus 1 all over 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So, tingnan natin kung factorable ba sila pareho. On the numerator, we have a binomial and a subtraction symbol. So, this means we have a difference. So, dahil may difference tayo, meron lang tayong dalawang pagpipilian when it comes to binomials with difference. Alin yung dalawa? Difference of 2 squares or difference of 2 cubes. Ngayon, may square root ba sila or may cube root? So, kung mapapansin nyo, we have 4x squared. Ibig sabihin, siya ay difference of 2 squares or D-O-T-S. On, and on our denominator, we have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So, check ulit natin kung PST siya. Anong square root ni 4x squared? We have 2x. Anong square root ni 1? We have 1. Then, if we get the product of these two, we have 2x. And then, get the twice of it, we have 4x. So, ibig sabihin, itong ating denominator ay factorable. And then, siya ay isang PST. Now, let us have the factor of the numerator 4x squared and then 1 anong square root ni 4x squared again that is 2x anong square root ni 1 we have 1 so isang plus at isang minus and on the denominator square root of the first term we have 2x square root of the last term we have 1 and then squared so again ibig sabihin niyan meron tayong dalawang 2x plus 1 so alin yun yung common meron tayong common factor na 2x plus 1. And then, may isa lang tayong na-cancel, kaya dito sa ating denominator, may matitira tayong isang 2x plus 1. And if we rewrite the final answer, we have 2x minus 1 all over 2x plus 1. So again, this will be the final answer for our example number 3. Okay? Next, example number 4, we have b squared plus 7b plus 12 all over b squared minus 9. So, kung mapapansin nyo, trinomial and binomial, so possible na meron tayong factoring technique dyan. And then, sa ating trinomial, wala naman pong square root yung ating 12. So, ito po ay yung general trinomials natin where a is equals to 1. And then, itong ating denominator, again, difference po siya, binomial siya, subtraction, and then may square root, may square root, again, may square root, may square root. So, itong ating nasa denominator ay isang DOTS. Kaya, let's factor this two. So, for the general trinomial, a is equals to 1, which is b squared plus 7b plus 12. Ano yung factors ni 12? Nakapag pinag-add natin, 7 ang sagot. So, meron tayong, ano-ano ba ang factors ni 12? 1 times 12, we have uh, 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. Alin doon ang may sum na positive 7? So, walang iba kundi yung 3 times 4. Kaya, pag sinulat natin yan, we have b plus 3 and then b plus 4. All over, sa factors ng ating b squared minus 9, the OTS, square root of the first term, we have b. Square root of the second term, we have 3. Isang plus at saka isang minus. Now, step 2, cancel out the factor. Again, common factor. We're not canceling out the terms factors lang po. So, alin ang ating common factor? We have b plus 3, that is 1. 1 times b plus 4 is b plus 4 all over. Uh, 1 times b minus 3, we have b minus 3. So, this is our final answer. So, hindi nyo po pwedeng makancel itong b and b na ito. Again, dahil hindi naman po siya factor. Then, the last example we have here d squared plus d minus 6 all over d squared minus 3d plus 2. They are both general trinomials a is equals to 1. So, ngayon, for our numerator, ano yung factors ni negative 6 na kapag pinag-add natin ay positive 1 ang sagot. Ano yung factors ni negative 6? So, we have negative 1 times 6 ayan, kasi ay magkaibang sign dapat. And also, we have negative 2 times 3. Alin dyan ngayon ang may sum na positive 1? So, di ba po, we have negative 2 at saka yung 3. So, ang factors natin for our numerator, we have d minus 2 and d plus 
3. And then for our denominator, we have positive 2, but ang sum niya ay negative 3. Ano lang bang factors ni positive 2? At kailangan negative a middle term. So, negative 1 times negative 2. At pag pinag-add natin yung negative 1 at yung negative 2, ang sagot natin ay negative 3. So, ang factors natin for the denominator, we have d minus 1 times d minus 2. Now, gawin natin yan ngayong uh, rational algebraic expression, d minus 2 d plus 3. So, ito yon yung factors natin. And then, on the denominator, we have d minus 1 and then d minus 2. Alin ngayon ang common factor sa kanila? We have d minus 2. Cancelled out na natin. So, magiging 1 na yan. Then, rewrite natin. 1 times d plus 3, we have d plus 3. And then, 1 times d minus 1, we have d minus 1. And again, this will be our final answer for our example number 5. Huwag po kayong malilito. Unang-una, if you're having trouble in factoring polynomials, ayan, dahil we're going to factor, balikan nyo po yung iba't ibang factoring techniques kung saan kayo pinaka nahihirapan. Paulit-ulitin nyo po yung video at siguro naman ay patututunan nyo in the end. And then, after that, another kailangang tandaan is that ang ating kinakancel out or dinidivide out ay common factor, hindi po terms. Common factor po. Kailangan muna ninyong mag-factor bago kayo mag-cancel. Dahil factors po ang ating kinakancel. Okay? So, I hope you have learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up if uh, this helps you. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button para if in case mag-upload ako even in weekends, manotified kayo ano po. So that's all for today and watch out for the other videos about rational algebraic expressions.